Today I'm going to show you how to cut thin strips using your table saw. Hit it. There are a lot of reasons why you might need to cut thin strips, either for bent lamination or even cutting edging for plywood if you want to edge it out with some nice solid trim. Uh, but the bandsaw is typically the way that we would do this because it's a nice thin blade, it conserves material, and it's built for this kind of resaw work. But not everyone has a bandsaw, so let me show you a cool and safe way to do it using the table saw. Now I've actually got three solutions to show you, but before we talk about solutions, let's talk about the problem. So why can't we just put our fence at the appropriate thickness, let's say 3 16 and cut our pieces this way? Well, the problem is there's so little space between the fence and the blade, it gets a little bit dicey with thin strips as they become a little bit more unstable and you have difficulty pushing it through, right? And that brings us to our solutions. First, you can use a special push block, either shop made or a commercial product like the micro jig gripper. Second option is a very simple jig made from a small piece of sheet goods with a small hook glued onto the end. Set your fence so that the jig sits the desired distance away from the blade and lock the fence down. Now place your workpiece against the jig and carefully make the cut. Even though we cut away some of our hook, there's still enough to do the job on subsequent cuts. This method is great for shorter pieces, but gets a little bit dicey on larger ones. The third method is my favorite, and it involves using a piece of wood or a magnet as a stop to the left of the blade. I use a mark on the workpiece to line up the blade for the appropriate sized off cut. I then drop my stop in place and secure it. The first cut is a no-brainer since it's already set up. Subsequent cuts are made by placing the workpiece against the stop while carefully nudging the fence into position. Just be careful not to bump your stop out of the way. I said this is my favorite method because it's easy to set up and there are no limits on the size of the stock or the size of the strips. So you can see that using any one of those three methods, depending on the size of your workpiece and the strips you need to cut, they all produce pretty good results. Now, like I said, the bandsaw is typically the place that we normally do this task, uh, and it's great because the blade is so thin, you could really save on material. The table saw, it's a little bit of a thicker blade, so you're wasting more, but you have the added advantage that right off the table saw, if you have a good quality blade, you really don't need to do much work to these at all. Maybe give them a light sanding if you're gonna do something like gluing it to another surface, but this is pretty smooth right off of the saw, so there's a big advantage to it. All right, so there's always more than one way, in this case, three different ways to skin the cat. Uh, hopefully, you'll find this technique useful. Thanks for watching.